Hello everyone, welcome back. Once again, I am Nicodemus Kane. Today is March the 24th, 2022. Yesterday was a long day. I am a defeated man today, so I'm going to try to be as upbeat as I can. I make no promises, though. <laughs> uh, today... We are going to be reading Psalm 119. This is Samech. S-A-M-E-C-H in the King James. S-A-M-E-K-H. On this, uh, this website that we've been looking at. Samech is... Uh, where to go? Gematria 60. Uh, it says the pictograph looks something like a shield. I don't know if it looks like a shield. It looks more like a... Well, it could be a shield. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> um, but it means... The root means to lean upon, to uphold, to support. Uh, where was the... Um... It also... Where was it at? I just had it here a second ago. But that it was... It was the... God's support. And... The support and comfort that he gives us um I'm trying I'm trying I really am I I couldn't really find it at first and then I found it and then I lost it because I was waiting for my uh OBS to update and while I was doing that I was looking at something else and I completely lost what I was doing um But it's that support and comfort in our uh, that we get because of our faith. It's God's support and comfort for us, which ironically is exactly what I asked for today. Um, because I definitely need it. I have uh, I have a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of stuff going on, and I don't want to sit here and go on and on and on about it. But they said that um, the letter that we did before, the letter that we did yesterday, noon, uh, when you put them together, when you put Samech in front of noon, because you remember yesterday it was the faithful one who was bent in submission to God, and then Samech is God's support. When you put the two words, or to put the two letters together, words, you put the two letters together, they create the word Ness. I guess that's how you pronounce it. N-E-S, Ness. It means miracle. When you are faithful and bow to God's support, you have miracle. See how that works? It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? So we will uh, we will read this. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend on it. It's like I said, I am. Just there's a lot. There's a lot going on, and I have not had time to really sit back and process much of anything. So we will go through this, and like I said, I will try to be as chipper as I can be under the circumstances. All right, smack. 
I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live. And let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe. And I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes. For their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. Okay. Amen. Okay. I have to compose myself. You have to give me a second. I, uh... I guess I'm a lot more tired than I thought I was. <laughs> I'm definitely... I, I definitely feel... I feel run down. I, I definitely didn't get any sleep. Or if I did get sleep, it was extremely restless. And I just... I feel drained. I really do. It was... I am definitely looking for comfort and support in the words today because my burdens definitely feel heavy and I know a lot of people get like that. I don't know. A lot of people have a lot worse. Absolutely have a lot worse than I do. But you, you have to... You have to find that comfort. Find that strength. To be able to pick up and move forward. Hopefully we can find that. Hopefully we can find that. Hopefully we can find that for everybody. Because I know what it's like. And I know that some people are so broken because of this world. Some people are so broken that they can't find their way past it. They just, some people just refuse to find their way past it. And it just, it, it snowballs out of control until they, until they simply can't function in this world anymore and they just give up. And that's, you feel so bad. And again, I know my problems aren't even half of what some people's are. Um, but some days you just feel it so much that you just have to... I don't know. I don't know. Let's go back through this, though. Let's start from the top. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. I hate vain thoughts. All is vanity. Vain. The, um, the thoughts of self-righteousness. The thoughts of thinking that you know everything that there is to know when you really know nothing. Uh, the thoughts of... of Knowing that you're better than everything else, that you cannot be harmed by anything in this world, to think that everything revolves around you and that it's all about you, 
we've talked numerous times about the vanity of evil people of this world. And it's come up over and over and over again. I hate vain thoughts. But thy law do I love. I don't want to be a part of those vain thoughts. I want to follow your law, follow your word, follow your commandments. Because it's far better. Far better to follow the commandments of God than to follow the vain to follow the vanity of men. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Thou art my comfort. Thou art my shield. And they said that the pictograph for the word is a shield and I see that Here, let me let me show you I'm not going to get too far into it because there was you know this letter had a little bit more uh, mysticism surrounding it so we don't want to get into it too much but it's uh, it's, it's very similar to like that kind of I cannot remember the name of it the three-tiered cross, I cannot remember the name of it. I know that some... As a symbol, there was something to it. But it has the it has the line at the top, the smaller line, and then the smaller line after that. And you can kind of see that it, it points down to the... Points down to the bottom. Points down to the bottom point. And it, it, the shield, I can, I can see that. I can, I can understand that. I can see where they're coming from with that. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. The hiding place sounds exactly like um, when you go into your prayer closet. When you go to pray by yourself, pray to God. Don't let other people, don't let other people into that. You can tell. You can tell that the people your prayers, um, you can, what was it? it? It was, we don't have to confess our sins to other people, but we can go to a brother to help us overcome sin. We don't have to confess our sins to other people. We have to confess our sins to God. That's what the Bible says. When we pray, we pray in secret. We go to our prayer closet. We pray away from man. And I think a lot of that is because that is not for any other man to know. That is, I don't know what, I'm trying to think of the words I'm looking for here. When I come to God and I pray, that's for me, between me and him. If you were to know, I think if an evil one were to know, he'd be able to use it against you somehow. They know, the, the more they know about you the more they can use it against you. That's just, that's just pure logic. That's not even coming from a, a Christian standpoint, from a religious standpoint. That's just fact. Um, to know that everything you do now is being recorded by something. And a lot of people have asked the question, well, what are they going to do with all this information? You know, if they if they know your your favorite color and they know you know your your mother's maiden name and they know your dog and all this other kind of stuff, they can get certain points, sure. But if they know your deepest darkest fears, if they know your fears, if they know your hopes, they know your dreams, they know your thoughts, 
they can use every single bit of that against you in order to control you. I know I have said this somewhere before. It is all about control. I mean, it's it's one thing to have an entire population to where you can physically control them. But when you can break down their thoughts, which is the only thing that you really have that is yours, when you can break down the things that make you who you are, the thoughts, mental processes, everything you have, when they control that, you are nothing in this world. Because they control you. They manipulate you. That's what they've been researching and looking into for the past... When they say it started, about 19... 1940s? Right after the war? Even a little bit before that, too. I think they were talking about it happening in the 30s. But it really started happening uh, uh, because of, you know certain German scientists that got pulled over to America and certain operation called Paperclip. You know, one of those things. Um, But they've been looking into that stuff for for years upon years upon years. Uh, You talk about like MKUltra uh, you talk about the subconscious um, subliminal messaging. Um, you talk about this whole grafting computer chips into your brain to keep AI from knowing what you're thinking. What else was there? Just the mentality of the manipulation of... Um, Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, that they can manipulate you just simply based upon what they show you. Television, I know I've talked about that before, is that you, the way you act, the way you think, has been predicated on the fact that, is that even the right word, predicated? I don't even remember. Uh, has been Everything you are has already been determined and it is based upon what you learned whenever you were a kid. The shows you watched, the books you read, that subtle manipulation, and a lot of it has been inside of television been inside of movies you talk like the movies you act like the movies you laugh at certain things because people in the in the tv shows and the movies laughed at certain things you don't know who you are if you watch television if somebody gets on there and acts like an idiot and is hollering and whooping and wailing and laughing and all that if if you didn't know any better you would think that's the way people act and that's how you act and if one person is doing it there's a hundred other people that are doing it too because there are millions of people that watch these things and it escalates out of that point snowballs so you don't know who you are. None of us really do. There, I don't really think that there has been a time where anyone that's alive today has not been influenced in some way, shape, or form by some kind of media that has that hasn't manipulated us in some way so we have to be extremely careful about what we watch how we watch it what it's trying to tell us 
And that's why one of the things I have I have tried to instill in these is these videos is to watch the symbology, watch the numerology, watch the overlying context of whatever it is that they're trying to manipulate you in understanding. Try to see it for what it is. I mean, we can have entertainment. You can enjoy a good story. I'm not going to say that you can't. You have to get rid of everything. You can't enjoy a good story. Um, but so many of the things that we have now are there to influence us. And so much of that anymore has such an agenda behind it. And a lot of people don't see it. Even even some of the people that supposedly can see it, even myself included, don't see every little thing that they're trying to push. I see a lot, but I don't see it all. There's a lot of other people that, that you know, they they say the same thing. Oh, I can see this. I understand what they're trying to do here. But I can stop and point and say, yeah, but what about that on the other side over there? Oh, that's not important. How do you know it's not important? How do you know? They've they've had 80, 80 years. They have had 80 years head start on you in the manipulation of the mind. I will reference back to Truth Stream Media, who did an entire 11, well, it wasn't 11 hour. That's their new one. Uh, f- uh, the the Minds of Men, it's three hours. I think it's three and a half hours. And I think it's on YouTube for free now because I, I paid for it whenever I was on Amazon. Um, but they talked about all of this, about how it started, about the mind experiments, trying to get into into how humans think and where it goes from there. Because that's the last, that's the last place is your mind. If you don't have your own mind, you don't have your own life. So you have to be careful about this. Don't let me be the, the, the one that, you know, don't let me be the one that tells you this and then you automatically take my word for it either because I don't want to be the one manipulating you find this stuff out for yourself research this understand this go listen to other people talk about this put it together because the last thing in this world that you want is to turn around and find out that everything you know is a lie And that everything you are has been a lie. And that you've been manipulated so bad to the point that you don't even know who you could have been simply by not following what they want you to do. If that makes any sense at all. But that, that again goes that all comes back around to what we were what I was just saying about praying in, in in secret, not letting them know not letting them know what you're praying about, what you need, who you are. That is between you and God. You do not need a middleman anymore. You can talk directly to him. So many religions, so many, so many, so many Christian denominations. Let's put it that way. They they want to go off and they want to say that you need to have. Oh, you need to have that person in between. You need to have a priest. You need to have a preacher. You need to have this and that. No, you don't. The veil was torn in half. The veil that was separating. The inner temple from the outer temple was ripped in half. 
you used to need that veil because only certain people could see it because God's brilliance was so much you couldn't go into that you couldn't go into the mercy seat and see where they did the sacrifices you had to pray upon your sacrifice and then they would take it in and they would pull the veil and only certain people got to see the holy of holies when Christ died as the perfect sacrifice for us, spilt his blood for us, we didn't need the veil anymore. So the veil was ripped in half so that we could have our conversations directly with God. It's still the same. It's still the same way it used to be, where we pray to him and, and we we ask for forgiveness and we follow his follow his laws and commandments, but we don't have to go through a middleman because God understood at that time and now there are so many people that are changing the faith they're changing the words in the book making it vain making it about vanity making it about them making it about something that it wasn't ever intended to be so you keep that you keep that private you keep that safe what you talk to with god is between you and god it is not between anybody else Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. That all comes back around. Uh, let's keep moving here. Depart from me, ye evil doer, ye evil doers, ye evil doers, doers. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, depart from me, ye evil doers. For I will keep the commandments of my God. Depart from me. Get away from me. Anyone that wants to go off and do evil and then wants to come to me and then try to try to tell me that it's okay to do whatever I want to do. I can go wherever I want to go. No. This is my life. I'm going to live it according to the way that God wants me to as best as I can because... There's been so much manipulation that I don't even know what's real anymore. You guys go off and do your thing. I'm going to keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word that I may live. And let me not be ashamed of my hope. Stand tall. Stand strong. Do not be ashamed. Do not be fearful. Do not worry. You can have times of trouble and you can look for comfort. But do not worry. Do not be ashamed. Do not do not be vain. Hold thou me up, which is the weirdest way of, of writing that. Hold thou me up. That's so weird how to how that. Anyways. Old English, man. <laughs> Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe. And I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes. For their deceit is falsehood. Thou hast trodden them down. And people constantly ask the question, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Why is everything falling apart? Why is this? Why is that? Why is yada, yada, yada? Because God allows it. Because you have walked away. You have walked away from the Father. You have chosen not to listen to him. You've chosen not to follow him. You've chosen to go off and do whatever you want to do. And you think it's okay and, and just fine to be able to just go off and just say, oh, well, 
God knows my heart. God knows what I what what I should be doing. It doesn't matter, you know, if I do this little thing over here, if I do this over there. It doesn't matter. God knows my heart. And then you turn around. God has trodden down all them that err from thy statutes. All those that do wrong that turn away that are manipulated by the people of this world by those that are just with vain thoughts what was the one from the one from uh, yesterday the wicked have laid a snare for me yet I erred not from thy precepts and then today it's thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes for their deceits is falsehood for their deceit for their lies for their lies is falsehood they have fallen away because they've believed the lies of this world I, it just it's it it all falls together. Same exact thing over and over again. Said in different ways. Said in ways that you need to hear it. Said in ways that you will never hear it. It's the same over and over and over again. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes. For their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am, af and I am afraid of thy judgments. I am afraid of, of what will happen to me, because you have commanded me to do it. It's, it's, the, it's the same kind of... It's the same kind of thing you get between a father and a son. Now, I have I have not had the best relationship with my father. I have definitely not had the best relationship with my stepfather. Uh, I wanted to have more, but, you know, I have never really had a perfect father figure. My grandfather was, he was there, but I was too young and too stupid so I never listened to him as much as I should have um, but the one thing I can tell you is that you never wanted to disappoint any of them and when you did disappoint them man it hurt you know you just you, you never wanted to uh, you never wanted to disappoint them for fear of of putting them out you know, because they just, your father is the, is the rule maker. He's the one that, he's the one that tells you what he wants you to do, how he wants you to live, you know, the best ways that you can live. But then he is also the one that rewards you more than anything else. Your mother may do the same thing, but it's it's always that it's always the father. A lot of people don't understand that because a lot of people just you know we live in a society where they where the lies of the world say that you don't need a father, or they have done their absolute best to manipulate everybody in this world to uh, to not have a dad. To not have somebody that they can find in love. I'm I'm part of that system. I admit that. I am part of that system where, you know, we got manipulated into, you know, single moms are just fine. That's a manipulation. That's, that's the lie. It's part of the lie. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. No, no, it's the lie. It's just another lie. You can't... Uh, if we were living according to the way God wants us to, 
we would not have that many broken families because it is the family, the mother and the father and the children being together, loving each other. That's the only way that you can get through and be a decent functioning adult. And I say that decent because a lot of people that have grown up without the family unit that have been successful, they're not really that decent. They're just kind of, you know, you hear some of these people talk and you're just like, oh man. The only people that are still functioning as family units, the ones that, you know, are still together as family, are the ones that are telling the rest of us that we don't need that kind of stuff. And it's it's all a snowball thing. I mean, you know, we, we you, you can kind of throw it out there and say it like that. That, you know, these... The, it's not just, you know, the family unit. It's, you know, teenage sex. It's all this other kind of stuff. It's all of it. It's every single bit of it. They started at one place... And it is snow, slowly snowballed up to the point where they literally say, you do not need, you know, you do not need a full family in order to function. You just need to, you just need to be able to exist in the world and you can do whatever you want to do what thou wilt, do as thou wilt, yada, 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 same old stuff. But that is, that's part of the lie. Because the people at the top, like I said, the only people that that are still focusing on the family are the ones that are telling you not to focus on family. The ones who still have the close-knit family ties, the ones that get together and, uh, you know, do all the stuff, the ones that you... The ones that you see and hear about, they're the ones that are telling you that you don't need that. And that's the lie. Bible straight up says you need you need to have that family unit. Yes, people die. When people die, yes, the family gets broken apart. I understand that. But the current mentality is that is that being a single parent is okay. That you can just go off and you can have three kids from three, three different fathers and you'll be just fine. Don't worry about it. That's not true. All three of those kids are going to be broken in some way, shape, or form. Sadly, they are. And if, and if one of them makes it, they're still going to be broken in ways that you can't understand. That's a hard truth. That's a hard truth a lot of people don't like to hear. But that's just the way it is. I'm not here to speak soft words. I'm 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 here speaking harsh words. That's and I'm not perfect by any means, shape, or form. I I was part of that same system. Part of the reason why I'm the way that I am, unfortunately, is because I was brought up in a broken home. So I've seen it firsthand. I understand it. I I understand how damaging it actually is. It's taken me a long time to get over that. And I never really had the opportunity to fix that for myself. I uh I never had a family. I I, I don't have any kids. Uh I have a wife now. And her kid, which she and I, we've never seen eye to eye, but, you know, we're getting better because God has allowed me to have that relationship with her. And because he has allowed me to have that relationship with her, he, he changed me, made me something better, made me understand what I need to do for her. I've been able to have my relationship with my granddaughter the way that we have. And I am doing my absolute best to make sure that 
I bring her up right. Because she's part of that system, sadly. As, you know, my granddaughter is, she's going to grow up in that, you know, single parent home. And I'm, I'm doing my best both ways to, uh, to get everybody to understand, you know, we have to do better. But it's the way of this world. It's just the way of this world is, is the, the lie that they teach you. All the lies. But that goes back again to, I don't know, I went off on another tirade. I started off with the, uh, I'm afraid of, I, I fear God's judgments. And I was trying to explain that because some people say, why do we have to fear so much? So we don't have to have fear, but we have to fear God. Yes, you got to fear God because it's the same, it's the same kind of fear that you get with a father. And people don't have a father, and it's still that's how I got it. That's how I got onto it. All right, so I know how that worked. Sometimes I have to, I have to know, I have to know exactly how I got off on these tangents. Because sometimes I get into this like weird ranty hole <laughs> that I have to dig myself back out of. Uh, all right. I don't have anything else. I really don't. I'm not going to go through the website like I did. I mean, I can... Semek, you have to kind of guttural the you know, do the whole guttural back end of that Semech. At least that's how the guy pronounced it. Um, again, I'm not going to go all the way down. Gematria 60, pictograph. I can see that it looks like a shield. And then the, you know, it looks like an O. LMNO. There you go. Where is the, uh, the one I was telling you about is the the noon the bent vav the the bent man with the crown he who he who bends to god's will is divine and then the the comfort the uh the support that place uh that god gives you when you put them together it means miracle so there you go learn something new every day all right, that's enough about that. So, um, uh, it's, it's been a long day, or not, not a long day, it's been a long week. I don't have anything else to say, really. Other than to uh, let you guys go and um, try to get through the day. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Don't let this world lie to you. So many lies and so many people think that they have the they have the truth that they have the truth and understanding. And I don't have the truth and understanding. I have enough of it to be able to know that there is a lie. And I have enough of it to be able to see that there has been a manipulation for a long time. And there has been a lie for a long time. Um, but I don't have the whole truth because I don't, I don't know if any of us will until the end. But to think that we all know exactly what's going on, that within itself is vanity. It's not the kind of vanity that I think that is going to be the... It's not the kind of vanity that I think that God is, is going to look down upon. But to 
sit and say, I know this. I know that. I know this for a fact. And when you... When you talk about... things that have happened in this world or things that go on things that you know whatever um and you say this is this and that is that you don't know for sure unless you have undeniable proof and that's something that a lot of us don't have so you have to be open-minded and wanting to find the absolute truth, not just what you think you know, but what is really out there. You have to crack that, crack that shell of lies and deceit and find out what's really going on. Because there are a lot of people that are constantly being misled even by the smallest things and I could be the same way that's why I always say don't follow me I'm just more than anything I want people to know that there's a lie and that they need to find the truth there you go I think that's all I need to say <laughs> I think that's all I really need to say because I, I I can't tell anyone the truth. As soon as I say it, I find something, you know, I might find something that completely counter contradicts everything that I said before. And I don't want to, I don't have the definite proof. You know, I don't have definite facts. I don't have the definite proof. I can't trust everything that I see. I can't trust everything that I read. I can trust the Bible now because the more I read the Bible, the more I read God's word, the more I look out in the world, the more I see that they add up better than what man has taught me. So I'm going with that. I don't ever think that's going to change either. That's just my personal thing. You got to find a free self. So I don't know where I was going with that, but I don't know. I just, this is a stream of consciousness, consciousness, guys. This is just whatever's out there. I'm going to say whether God puts it into my head or not to say it. That's, that's on him. All right. I love you all. You guys take care of yourselves. And uh, I shall uh, I shall talk to you tomorrow. That's yeah. All right.